Welcome to the new update and this is going to be quite an exciting update because we have a lot to talk about. Not only have we shipped out all the AVR keyboards and basically completed the whole 68G project, <laughs> thanks to 1,298 founders, we were able to start this campaign, uh, do this project and make the 68G. And it is very satisfying to not only see uh, the production completed, but it, and everything shipping out, but also that you received it and it was received in a way that blew our mind. Like we thought, we knew the 6 g is awesome. We got a couple of things here that are super powerful, but you guys have really shown that this is matching exactly what we were thinking. It's matching exactly what we're talking about and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And not only have we seen it from you in ways that you've been modding the keyboard, using rapid triggering games, noticing that latency difference, uh, using it for rhythm games, noticing that you're hitting a lot more notes than usual and seeing that difference in performance, but also a couple of reviews that came out that have also highlighted how this is possible and what makes the big difference between the 6 HG and all these other keyboards, what makes the difference between routine keyboards basically and all these other keyboards. And we have that all to thank to you guys. So big applause to yourself. We got so much attention all of a sudden and so many people joined this journey and I bet you're one of these new people that is watching this that just joined the 6 to 80 journey here and this journey has not completely ended yet with the AVR models with this shipment. No, because you are still waiting and you're asking yourself why is this even in a pre-order? Why did you guys not make more? Well, <laughs> we wanted to, trust me we did, uh, but it's been quite the journey that still hasn't ended because if you look back in one of our previous updates called we have a proposal for you, you will find out that we were running into a huge issue, which was the IC shortage issue. Now the short version of this is that we were not able to purchase our AVR MCUs anymore, which we use for our keyboards and we had to purchase a different MCU. We decided, okay, let's switch to the ARM MCUs. The big problem is that not only did we have to change the hardware, we also had to port over all our software developments from the old architecture to the new architecture. And that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. But you know what? This next thing, we did it. <laughs> the next great thing is not only did we complete all that ARM development, we've also uh, finalized production date. And well, I'll tell you now, the production is actually going on right now but it's a long tail production because there's a lot of steps in between suppliers and it will finally complete on the 19th of August. Is how many times I've been clapping right now, but 19th of August. But does that mean it's at your front door? No, 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 ho, 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 take it easy, okay? On the 19th of August, we've completed the production, but it still needs to travel all the way to our warehouse before we can start shipping it to your front door. You might've seen when you've ordered the keyboard, or when you jumped into the booting hub, I'll get back to that later, that there is this air freight upgrade. If you chose for air freight upgrade, then you'll receive your keyboard three to four weeks faster than the regular shipments. And that's because it will go by airplane from the factory to the warehouse. And if you did not get the air freight upgrade, then it will go by boat, so sea freight from the factory to the warehouse, which takes much longer. If you're in the EU, then I recommend you to get the air freight. It saves so much time that you will thank me later. What does that mean when we look at dates? That means that I expect air freight shipments to ship around the 10th of September and sea freight shipments either by the end of September or the start of October. When we get closer to the dates, I will update it in the Discord Stuck Updates channel where I frequently add or change or post new mini updates when it comes to the stock status and the shipment status. So keep an eye on that and you'll know more. But beware, <laughs> because this is only applicable for two batches, which is NA Row and EU Pi. Now, there are more batches, more ARM model production batches. And you can find out in which batch you are if you go to the booting hub uh, and look at your 6 day sheet and you'll see what the batch is there. Remember that batch because when we publish updates, that batch will be named and you'll find out more about when you can expect it. Right now, you can already see a status in Wooting Hub with a rough estimate when we expect to be able to ship your keyboard or ship your whole order to you. 
uh, based on your batch number. So you can already see an estimate there, uh, but as we get closer to that estimate, I'll be able to give you more details as we go forward. So keep an eye on that. I can tell you that for all the other batches that are coming, we've planned to produce them all at the same time, uh, not the 90th of August, of course, but then all the same time around the mid September. Now that date still needs to be confirmed. When it's confirmed, you will of course hear more about this. So keep an eye on that. Then the last bit of this update is I want to address everybody that's new here and explain a little bit about how a couple of things work. So first of all, I've mentioned Wooting Hub a couple of times. This is your control center where you can edit your address, you can find all your orders, you can see the status of your order, and increasingly more things that you can do to control your order. You can find a link for that below. It's on our website on the right top that you can log in to the Wooting Hub. Uh, please do make an account to control your order, but if you don't like to make an account for that, then that's no problem because you can also go to the product status page and on the product status page, you can fill in your order number and see the status of your order. If you scroll a little bit down, you can even see all the products that we have in stock or are planning to go into production uh, for our two different store regions. So that is the product status page. Then the last part here is when it comes to customer support. Now we have peak levels of customer support right now because we have so many new people joining and you have all kinds of questions and you might have that email sent to us and you have a question and rightfully so because we also do love communicating with you but in this case we do need to ask you if you have a general question or a technical question please first visit our discord and ask a community member most of the time they already have an answer for you and they will be able to help you and then on our customer support side on email we can start focusing on order related issues where the discord community can not help with and it will be much easier for our support so that was this update i'll see you in the next one